Good day guys and girls, I am gonna be teaching you on how to get PDF to Foundry to work on version 10, but there is a little bit of workaround to do so. So firstly we will need a version 9, that's gonna be the problem. I'm simply gonna manually install it and I'm gonna go with uh, the default options, so bear with me while that happens. I do have everything else uh, already set up, so it should not take me that long. Um, there is another um, module that's going to be coming, that's going to be doing similar stuff to PDF to Foundry, uh, which is um, day drills, PDF to Foundry. Let me see if I can find that very quickly while I'm going to... Uh, I found the raw GitHub, so I apologize for that. Okay, uh, I'm simply gonna close that. Okay, I'm not gonna update as of right now. So, uh, let's uninstall this, yes please. Uh, I did play around a little bit with the module. It's in a beta, I would say it's a very beta moment. But, with that in mind, I'm simply gonna install this, since I know I need it. Okay, let's install Pathfinder. Finder 2nd edition, the official, the one created by Timon. I really hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly because I'm a little bit under the weather. It should not take long. Okay, game walls, let's create a new one. Uh, sorry, not install, create. Uh, smart name. Agents of Edge watch troubles in Otari. I'm gonna basically provide both options for everything. Uh, sorry, that was a big sneeze on my end. Uh, let's test. Okay, and we're simply gonna be launching world. Yeah, master. So bear with me while this loads in. Okay, this is regular messaging uh, the first time you run. Manage modules, PDF to Foundry Importer, same module. Um, and you'll have here the PDF Importer. We're simply going to be selecting an AP. Uh, I will have the agents of uh, Edgewatch, which does have support uh, for the premium maps as well. Sorry, the detail maps that come with the module and as well for the campaign itself. And uh, if I remember correctly, this one was it. And simply hit import. This is going to be taking a little bit of time while the module loads in. But you'll be able to see as it does get imported. Okay. I'm simply going to uninstall it after this, but I'm trying to provide an ex uh variant option on how to get to version 10 but be very mindful if you update and you have already version 10 modules installed so here we go we got the city of Absalom with all of its nine districts uh, let's see okay so currently setup is correct okay I'm gonna be adding the maps as well so we get the detailed one interactive maps okay import okay that's perfect Okay, uh, we do have all of the NPCs and the combat that's going to be happening already imported, looks fine and then they also has the artwork which I actually do like quite a bit. Now the first uh, part is done. What we need to do now uh, as a workaround is, well, close Foundry. So. 
I'm gonna be running it right now as an administrator. As I've noticed, if you install it in the program files like it requests, uh, it's gonna be having some issues updating. And we're simply gonna be updating to the latest stable version. I'm gonna leave in, be leaving this all on screen so you'll see exactly all the steps I'm going to be taking and how much time it takes. I have a fairly decent and stable internet connection, so it should not take long. I already have um, troubles in Otari module already activated on my account. Uh, if you already purchased it, follow the steps from the tutorial on uh, Pezo. Paizo's website or the Foundry's website and you know exactly on how to activate the additional module. I'm basically providing both variations of activating modules for version 10. So it should not be much much longer or there might be. So bear with me and do enjoy the music. I'll shut up for a second. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than expected, so I do apologize about that one. I'm going to be setting a, a time skip in the chapters for those who do not want to sit through it. But I want to show it, all of it, in real time. I should also update my mojo, speaking of. When this is finished, the foundry should close by itself and we will, should have the version 10.286 if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, I did not memorize the overall um, pop up, but I think it's 286 or 76. Is it 76? I do apologize about the internal monologue I, I was having there for a second. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, it's right here, it's 286. There we go. Let's give you a second, let's see if you open by yourself, if not... Ah, there we go. Version 10, 286. Okay, here is the world we created. We're simply gonna be updating all. Uh -huh. Um. When you have this error, um, and if it does persist after you update between versions, and in my case it does for me, and as you can clearly see it doesn't allow me to uh, start the server, simply close Foundry and reopen it. But it only happens when you update. Okay. See, there is a compatibility risk for the time being, so let's launch it, begin migration. Basically, it will update everything within it to version 10. And it will start at the moment we are going to be open, uh, opening the server. Right now, if you open console, it already starts to work in the background, if you see here. Some errors. Those are from my end because I have a lot of stuff from uh, multiple version. Okay. Okay. If you got the migration summary to well, the version as completed, you should be fine. Okay, let's open any scene and it seems to be working just fine. 
There we go. Uh, the only downside to, from what I've noticed, um, the overall scenes are in the old format, which it can be a little bit tedious, but uh, if you're familiar with Foundry, you very quickly click on each one. As the new system does have chapters associated with it, and you basically can scroll very easily to that. Okay, uh, first part of this one is basically complete. The question I got is, was if I have a module, will I be able to install another module on top of that? I swapped to version 10 um, basically to show that it is indeed possible. So let's get into that one. Add on, add on mo modules and we're going to be installing a premium content module. Since I could have done the same with the PDF but I also have the premium module already set up and basically it's exactly the same. Oh, bear with me one more moment while it this download. There's quite a bit of, uh, sorry about that. Uh, there's quite a bit of files, also music and that's why it takes a little bit. It is indeed by all definitions a uh, premium one. Uh, under regular circumstances when you only import the PDF, walls are set up and the journal entries are uh, placed on maps. And that's about it. Also the NPCs are built, but they are taken from compendium, so there's not really any huge modification based on the uh, standard foundry. Oh, wow. There we go. Come on, boy. You can do it. Okay, with that in mind, game walls. Let's launch again the dual module. And let's go ahead and activate it. I, I don't need this module anymore, so it was automatically deactivated because the version has changed and let's save. Oh, sorry, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. There you go. I'm not trying to advertise my own stuff, not yet. <laughs> okay. So, when you click uh, to install a premium module, you can simply uh, import it. So, um, this is gonna tell you exactly what's gonna be imported, scenes, macros, playlists, and how many folders they're gonna be set up. And if you're okay with that, simply import. Okay. Uh, this module basically presets the module to be there uh, and active but at the same time after everything is set up you can go ahead and view scene the npcs from agents of edge watch are here the npcs and pcs are here uh, from the menace and under otari campaign i hope this um, tutorial was very useful for you and I do hope uh, you did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.